Next on Fox tonight, East Texas parents are concerned about a respiratory virus that is infecting children out of season. Fox 51's Katie Pratt, she joins us in studio with some clarity about what you can do to prevent RSV and the journey from one local mother, Katie. That's right, Sarah, RSV is the new illness people are concerned about, but the virus itself is not new. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It's fairly common with an average of 3 million cases per year in the U.S. This, this was really bad. They've had COVID before, and to me, RSV was worse than COVID. But according to the CDC, cases are surging this summer. This week, we've had um, about 20 cases of RSV. Uh, only a few of those children have required the hospital, which is pretty typical, uh, but we anticipate that those numbers are going to increase further. Doctors believe the sudden summer spike might have something to do with the coronavirus. Normally, these viruses present uh, in the wintertime, uh, and those babies get immunity, uh, and it goes away, and we don't see it again until the next fall. However, with the uh, stay-at-home advisories, with the frequent masking, uh, with, with schools uh, being closed, uh, all infectious illnesses in children essentially went down. And so now RSV essentially is catching up off-season. The airborne virus can last several days or weeks and comes with flu-like symptoms, including headache, cough, fever, sore throat, and runny or stuffy nose. They were wheezing, uh, coughing. It was, it was a really bad cough, terrible cough to where they just, it, they couldn't sleep. With RSV, you can get mucus in your airways. When those airways are really, really small, like in babies under the age of two, it can lead to wheezing and difficulty breathing, and sometimes even respiratory failure that requires an intensive care unit admission. RSV is able to spread through the eyes, nose, or mouth, and it can lead to severe conditions for the most vulnerable if left untreated. The Vasquez children were able to make a full recovery after more than two weeks. Health officials say the best way to prevent the spread, like most viruses, is to wash your hands and limit contact with others. Live in studio, Katie Pratt, Fox 51 News.